So good morning dear battery lovers. <laughs> Here I have something we don't get every day. These are batteries we got for free. Uh, we got them from, I don't know if it's a company or a private person. I can't find their email anywhere, but they contacted us uh, a few weeks ago and asked us if we wanted some free batteries with something 35E. Some of the cells were dead and something like that. And we said, yeah, sure, we can accept that. We don't usually accept with shiny cells um, because they're most likely crap. But if they have brand cells, we can usually save many of them. And we have the equipment to test many cells. Uh, but then yesterday they came in with this, this mess which my employee, Dr. Andy, named Torsk Potalin. Only you Swedes will understand that this is how messy that it really gets. However, we are thankful for you not throwing these batteries away and giving them to us for free. But this is not really how batteries are supposed to be built. So I will uh, disassemble these and also point out some of the things that couldn't be done better. I was expecting batteries that were made in China, but I can be 100% certain that this is not made in China because no one in China builds batteries like this because no one in the world would accept batteries built like this. It's um, time consuming and it's not really good. And as you can see, some of the cells are dead. They are using two layers of super thick nickel and they must have an extremely powerful spot welder. <laughs> so these cells are getting really, really hot when spot welding. And then they also add these extra wires. I don't know how many amps they're trying to pull out of this. I'm guessing like 100 amps or something. Why they're adding all this extra stuff. And here you can see uh, probably a dolly BMS. I don't know why they're a silicone. This is supposed to be a plate over here, but it might have been removed. So there's no information about how many amps or voltage, but they have seven AVG wires. So, and these type of BMSs are for 80 amps and above. Really, really messy. I'm coming to save you little cells. Don't worry, I will save most of you. Even if it's time consuming, even if you don't make any money, I feel it's my duty to save as many cells as possible. And if you follow my Swedish YouTube channel, we just announced, we made a video that we're looking for someone to uh, take apart batteries and remove nickel strips. We have one full, full job just for that. So I don't have to do this. Jesus. Uh, well, I have isolator rings. But still, this is really, really time consuming. Dual layers, nickel. But this spot welded hard to the cells. Yeah, but what, what are you gonna do when you need batteries that can ha that must handle 100 amps? You cannot really buy them from China because the Chinese don't really build batteries. Because it's expensive to build good batteries that can handle 100 amps or more. So if you order something from China, you must be able to test it. That it can actually handle 100 amps without getting hot. So doing this yourself was probably your only option. And without any knowledge, without to build batteries, they probably spend a lot of time on endless spare and YouTube. I'm close to giving up. It's just, I haven't even disconnected one cell yet. Maybe they did just one layer before and it turned like to ashes on some places. And then they added more layers. Or maybe they built the battery packs from China with just the original nickel and then they added these plates and these wires. I think there's so much shoulder, I can't even bend this. I'm just waiting for a cell to short circuit against the negative here. Yeah, there you have a 30Q. 
Uh, I never bought 30Q, so I don't know if the date code on them varies. Now Samsung updated their um, date codes quite much, at least two or three times. Because we cannot spend endless of times. We have other batteries to save. And if they're hopeless like these, um, we might have to call this a lost cause.